Carol, tell me about your operation. How many cows have you got? We've got 1,200 cows. We share milk for dairy holdings. So they don't have any names? <laughs> no, no, they've only got numbers. Uh, the, the odd one has um, got its own personality and that people get attached to it, but no names, no. <laughs> Carol, you're, in, you're the officer in charge of the calving and calves? Calves, yep, I'm in charge of calves, yep. What's the regime? Um, well, they first come into the shed, they get put into a pen, they get um, sprayed with iodine as soon as they come into the shed, and they get gold colostrum, which is the best colostrum out of a cow, the very first milking, which is we call, I assume everyone calls it the gold stuff, and they get at least two litres of that as soon as they come into the shed, and then we come back in the afternoon like I am now, and they get an, another feed of that, so that we try to give them those two feeds of that really good colostrum, get, in, get, get that into their stomach as soon as we can. Now you said iodine, is that to, 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 to dry seal off that? Yeah, yeah, and stop any infection getting into the navel, because they can get navel ill in their joints, and then they're really hard to save once that, that gets bad into their joints, yeah. And obviously if you've got 12,000 cows, you've got, or 1,200 cows I should say. 12,000, that'd be a lot. <laughs> but you've got, you've got 1,200 calves. To feed, yeah, we don't keep every all of them though, we keep about 25% of them as heifers, I think, roughly. Usually between 250 and 350-ish calves. The rest either, we keep some bulls, Jersey bulls and Herefords, and the rest are go on bobbies, bobby, on the bobby truck, about four days old. The bull calves, they're for breeding? For our own use, yet yeah, for um, go over our heifers, the Jerseys, and the Herefords um, go over our cows after mating, after AB. So these calves, how long are they in the shed for? Um, well this year I'm hoping to do a few less and hopefully they will stay in the sheds. Um, they really stay here until it just gets too wet and then they have to go out in the paddocks. Um, I think they'll do better in here than going out, out and none of our fencing is very good for calves. <laughs> it's only two wires and that's hopeless. <laughs> so I'm hoping to keep them in here for at least maybe six, eight weeks before they go out. So room and development? Uh, this year they're only getting straw. just. Um, Cost-wise, they were not buying any meal, so we, they, they get um, straw and they get bentonite or true bond, which just helps bond them up and helps, their, helps them from getting runny poos or the shits, as we say. <laughs> it, uh, without being disrespectful, things are tight for you guys things are, yeah, every, yeah, in the whole industry. Everything we spend, yep. yep. So, how much time does it take? How long are you coming down to the shed twice a day for? Um, I start, I leave home because we don't actually live on farm anymore, um, so I leave home at quarter past eight, usually get home at quarter past eleven, then I come back at one until about half past one, so I've been doing this a long time so I've got it pretty streamlined. <laughs> and of course price of milk powder and that sort of thing, because that's mixed I assume. Yeah, we, we know we use the milk. We use the milk here, um, the colostrum milk. The first four days can't go in the vet, so we use all that for the calf rearing. And, and then, then it goes on to what, for once they've done the colostrum, but... And then it goes in the vat and gets taken away by Fonterra. But yeah, the first four days it gets um, fed to the calves. So you have... So they have milk for more than four days though? Yes, for about ten weeks they'll get milk. It's yeah. a long haul. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's right through to all end of October, I suppose it is, or yeah, early November, the last ones will be weaned. Now you're in the mid Canterbury area, pretty dry land and very light? Um, yeah it is here, very stony on this particular property, yeah. Um, we've got two irrigators though, two big pivots and uh, rotor rainers down that other side there. And we've got a big pond over there that... Um, that feeds them. Feeds them all, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that was the word I was looking for. Everything good though. I mean, you, you're yeah. being very cheerful. Everybody is expecting dairy farmers and sheer milkers to have yeah. very long faces. If you've been in, we've, I've been dairy farming all my life. Yeah. My father's been in it since the 1930s and, you know, goes like this all the time. So hopefully we're on a bottom and it's going to go up again. It has done for the last 30 years or more. Or more. <laughs> so it's not the first time it's been down. You're hanging in there. Yeah, you know, you've got a choice. You can't can't just sell them and <laughs> you just and you get attached to them anyway. Mm.